screener's coming in pretty darn good for how I had to put it in. Um, if you remember, end of May, we came in and we took a spike tooth harrow and drug the outside perimeter of what I wanted to, you know, screen. And we went around a bunch of times to break up the soil a little bit. We can't diss this area because it's on top of a hill and you don't want, we don't want the erosion. So just enough to scrape up the surface, broadcast it on top of that. And I did broadcast a little heavier just because I knew, you know, we weren't getting great seed to soil contact, but we're doing better than just throwing it on plain dirt. And then I ran over it a bunch of times with the side-by-side -side and fer I fertilized it with a uh, triple 12 or triple 13, I can't remember, but uh, it's coming up really good. It is pretty weedy. I'm not surprised. You know, I sprayed it once, planted, and I sprayed it a couple days right after I planted. And it's pretty weedy in spots, but the main areas I think are coming up pretty good. So if, as long as it keeps growing, outgrows the weeds that are around it, it should grow nice and tall. I'm hoping at least 10 feet. Um, it's from Northwoods Whitetail. And this is my first year planting this green. The screen on the other plot didn't work out as well. Um, it's spotty, it's not very tall. It's definitely not as good as this. And this is mostly full sun all day, so. Screen's looking great, clover's mowed. The seed for this fall has been ordered. I'll do, I'll kind of tell you guys what I plan on doing at a later date. You know, it's fast approaching here at the end of the July. You know, all you're doing is watching for rain making sure that you can get ahead of a good rainstorm, get the seeds in, get them packed down, and get a good soaking. They should come up good. So thanks for watching.